Hobbit fever is taking hold in Wellington as the capital prepares to host the movie's world premiere and tens of thousands of people are expected to line the streets on Wednesday. Rebecca Edwards joins us now live from what's said to be one of the most popular Hobbit spots leading up to the big day, Rebecca. Yes, good evening. Now, it may look like a bit of a circus showground behind me, but I can tell you people won't be flocking here at midday tomorrow for Ferris wheels and candy floss. They'll be coming down to check artisans out at work. Now, it's just one of the many events taking place around the city with a distinct Hobbit theme. At Wellington's visitors' centre, staff are looking a little hairier than usual. There's a lot of pride out there. This is happening here, and everyone's kind of excited. Everyone knows it's happening next week. Bit by bit, the city's being transformed into the middle of Middle Earth. Waitangi Park is becoming the city's own mini shire. Saturday and Sunday, we've got great weather forecasts, and we expect thousands of people down here, which will be really good. For the next five days, this market will host more than 30 artists, from glass blowers to leather workers, jewellers, and sculptors, most of whom have worked on the Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit films. Like this Petoni based company. It's designed and weaved many of the textiles worn by characters in the films, including Gandalf's mystical silver scarf from The Hobbit, made on this 120-year-old loom. Being part of such a wonderful movie, and as I say, I'm sure Peter Jackson's included so many wonderful artisans. It's great to be part of them and work alongside them. Even restaurants are joining in. The CQ Hotel mixing up some inspirational treats, from cocktails... So there you go. And that's the one-ring cocktail. ...to full magic menus. And on the waterfront, the gloaming, an exhibition full of creatures of fantasy. They've taken seven years to sculpt. It was a timing thing for, um, for me to uh, all the people that are in town who like this sort of fantasy can, uh, it's all the right people that can really enjoy this. For many, a stroll around the city has become a bit of an unexpected journey. And Rebecca, the Artisans Market, not the only event happening where you are. No, indeed. Take a look at this. This big screen here is set to play the Lord of the Rings trilogy on Sunday, Monday and Tuesday night. It will also beam all the excitement from the red carpet here to Waitangi Park on the big premiere day. You will no doubt have a wonderful time. Thank you, Rebecca. Rebecca Edwards in Wellington. And we'll be right across the Hobbit World premiere throughout the day on Wednesday, starting with breakfast live from Courtney Place and where to workshop from 6am. Midday will also have plenty from the big party and to cut it at 4pm. And from 4.30, Wendy will be hosting a one-news special live from the red carpet. Followed, of course, by extensive coverage on the news hour at 6. Close-ups Mark Sainsbury will also be live with all the latest developments from the premiere.